Who are the Parsis and what makes their genetic repository unique for large-scale genomic studies? It all begins over a thousand years ago. A number of ships carrying a small group of Zoroastrians from Khorasan and Pars in modern-day Iran sailed southward towards the coast of Gujarat, India, escaping religious persecution and to preserve their freedom to practice the ancient Zoroastrian faith. The 10,000 Avesta Genome Project is a landmark, first-of-its-kind, comprehensive, integrated systems biology genomics biobank database of the Zoroastrians for the deep understanding of human disease. It was 2007 and there were many transformational changes going on in the social fabric of our community, which prompted me to look within and see for myself that if there was something I could do here, and being a scientist and also a Parsi, I felt by some higher calling that perhaps it was my role to take on this challenge. The Avesta Genome Project was conceptualized 10 years back and is a pioneer in population-based genomic studies leading to precision medicine and targeted therapeutics. One of the most recent significant outcomes we've had is the assembly of the world's first Zoroastrian Parsi mitochondrial and whole genome sequence assembly. The Avesta Genome Project found that at the mitochondrial level, Parsis shared haplogroup similarity to Neolithic Iranians, communities of the Caspian Pontax steppes and the Altai Mountains, indicative of the unique genomic landscape of the contemporary Zoroastrian Parsi among Indian and European communities. 217 unique variants linked to longevity and 41 longevity-associated disease phenotypes across the majority of the haplogroups were found. One of the more recent exciting trends we've seen is the association between the Parsi lifestyle and some disorders that link it to pancreatitis. We've recently hit on a huge pool of mutations that could predispose the community to chronic pancreatitis or pancreas-associated conditions like the onset of type 1 diabetes. And the gene we're working on in this is called PRSS1. It is very interesting because it predominantly controls the enzymes required to break down food and aid in the absorption of nutrition. It was a very satisfying experience to be a part of India's largest in-depth epidemiological study conducted by the Avastha Genome Project. As a member of the team, I had the opportunity to interact with the participants and to record their social and family histories. What impressed me greatly throughout the collection drive spanning eight cities was the enthusiasm with which members of the community came forward to participate in the project. It showcased the innate generosity that Parsis had for contributing towards a good cause. We visited Parsi-dominated areas like Navsari, Surat, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Pune, Sikandrabad and Hyderabad, Bangalore, as well as Delhi, and collected 4,500 samples from participants of all ages. The projection for the future is to collect 10,000 samples, not only of Parsis living within India, but extend the scope to Zoroastrians outside India as well. Combined with the genomic, genealogical, nutritional and psychological data, this study constitutes a treasure house of information about the Parsi community. Collection of such inclusive data and analyzing and studying it is a Herculean task and extremely expensive as well. The Avesta Genome Project is at the cutting edge of providing a tremendous amount of genomic derived data and is clearly the way forward for patient-centric treatment in the future. The Avesta Genome Project is leading to groundbreaking insights with continued findings into the role of genomics in precision medicine. Precision medicine offers tailored treatments to patients based on their personal genetics. The Avesta Genome Project is an initiative of vital importance in the space of precision medicine with far-reaching benefits not only for the past few Zoroastrians but the world at large. I urge the community to lend your support and contribution towards the completion of this project. I'm sure this is going to be extremely useful because it will bring forth traits which are responsible for certain disease conditions like, for example, cancer of the breast, Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's disease. Large-scale population-based genomic sequencing projects like the Avesta Genome Project are demonstrating impact 
on disease diagnosis in patients with actionable outcomes, especially for cancers, autoimmune disorders, and neurodegenerative diseases, and such rare disorders. And this is now relevant at the clinical hospital level. I appeal to the community to join hands and contribute with Avastajan to deliver this project. Discoveries from studies such as these eventually belong to humanity. Be a part of our journey and leave a lasting legacy for the well-being of future generations by supporting the Avesta Genome Project.